Ludwig van Beethoven composed many classical music, despite being deaf. Let's take a deep dive info his life to learn how he was able to achieve this feat. Ludwig van Beethoven was a German composer and pianist. Beethoven remains one of the most admired composers in the history of Western music. His works rank among the most performed of the classical music repertoire and span the transition from the classical period to the Romantic era in classical music. His career has conventionally been divided into early, middle, and late periods. His early period, during which he forged his craft, is typically considered to have lasted until 1802. From 1802 to around 1812, his middle period showed an individual development from the styles of Joseph Haydn and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and is sometimes characterized as heroic. During this time, he began to grow increasingly deaf. In his late period, from 1812 to 1827, he extended his innovations in musical form and expression. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to this channel, you're so much welcome to this channel where you learn interesting historical arts and cultural history. Thanks for joining us. Please like, comment your thoughts, subscribe and share our content if you're enjoying it. Beethoven was born in Bonn. His musical talent was obvious at an early age. He was initially harshly and intensively taught by his father, Johann van Beethoven. Beethoven was later taught by the composer and conductor Christian Gottlob Niffy, under whose tutelage he published his first work, A Set of Keyboard Variations, in 1783. He found relief from a dysfunctional home life with the family of Helene von Brenning, whose children he loved, befriended, and taught piano. At age 21, he moved to Vienna, which subsequently became his base, and studied composition with Haydn. Beethoven then gained a reputation as a virtuoso pianist, and was soon patronized by Karl Alois, Prince Lichnowsky for compositions, which resulted in his three opus one piano trios, the earliest works to which he accorded an opus number, in 1795. His first major orchestral work, the First Symphony, premiered in 1800, and his first set of string quartets was published in 1801. Despite his hearing deteriorating during this period, he continued to conduct, premiering his third and fifth symphonies in 1804 and 1808, respectively. His violin concerto appeared in 1806. His last piano concerto known as the Emperor dedicated to his frequent patron Archduke Rudolf of Austria, premiered in 1811, without Beethoven as soloist. He was almost completely deaf by 1814, and he then gave up performing and appearing in public. He described his problems with health and his unfulfilled personal life in two letters. And I quote, his Heiligenstadt testament to his brothers and his unsent love letter to an unknown immortal beloved 1812. After 1810, increasingly less socially involved, Beethoven composed many of his most admired works, including later symphonies, mature chamber music and the late piano sonatas. His only opera, Fidelio, first performed in 1805, was revised to its final version in 1814. He composed Missa Solemnis between 1819 and 1823 and his final symphony, No. 9, one of the first examples of a choral symphony between 1822 and 1824. Written in his last years, his late string quartets, including the Gross Fugue, of 1825 to 1826 are among his final achievements. After some months of bedridden illness, he died in 1827. 
Beethoven's works remain mainstays of the classical music repertoire. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. His legacy can be seen depicted in museums. There is a museum called the Beethoven House in the place of his birth central Bonn. The same city has hosted a musical festival, the Beethoven Fest, since 1845. The festival was initially irregular but has been organized annually since 2007. The Ira F. Brilliant Center for Beethoven Studies, DR. Martin Luther King Jr. Library, the campus of San Jose State University, California, serves as a museum research center, and host of lectures and performances devoted solely to Beethoven's life and works. The Beethoven Monument in Bonn was unveiled in August 1845, in honor of the 75th anniversary of his birth. It was the first statue of a composer created in Germany, and the music festival that accompanied the unveiling was the impetus for the very hasty construction of the original Beethoven Halle in Bonn which was designed and built within less than a month, on the urging of Franz Liszt. Vienna honored Beethoven with a statue in 1880. The third largest crater on Mercury is named in his honor, as is the main belt asteroid 1815 Beethoven. Beethoven's music features twice on the Voyager Golden Record, a phonograph record containing a broad sample of the images, common sounds, languages, and music of Earth, sent into outer space with the two Voyager probes. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.